Al was driving in Lawrenceville, Georgia when he slowed down for traffic that was stopping at a red light up ahead. The driver of the Ford Focus behind him didn't see the traffic slowing down. The other driver tried to change lanes, but collided with Al's right rear bumper and tire. The driver barely managed to keep his Ford Focus upright. In the Model X, Al says he only felt a small bump. Unfortunately, what he thought was merely superficial damage ended up requiring the replacement of the entire rear subframe, motor, axles, rear air handler, and, of course, the rear bumper cover. The ricochet from the impact also cracked the side chassis frame. Collectively, the damage estimate was more than 50,000 US dollars, and Al's insurance company decided the vehicle was totaled. Ryan was driving his Model 3 to work in Kansas City, Missouri. A freezing rainstorm had hit the Kansas City metro area just before sunrise. Ryan could tell that the car behind him was traveling too quickly to stop. In an attempt to avoid hitting Ryan's Tesla, the other car tried to swerve onto the shoulder. Unfortunately, he crashed into the barrier instead. Ryan changed lanes in an attempt to give the Chrysler more room, but the Tesla continued to slide laterally on the ice as it fought to get traction. Another Chrysler behind him was also going too fast, and as the Tesla slid across two lanes, they had to swerve to avoid hitting Ryan. That's when he was hit by flying guardrail, losing control. He was finally able to get some traction and keep from sliding into the guardrail, but the guy behind him slid right on by. The other car bumped into the guardrail before spinning out in front of Ryan. It was quite the little dance show before things got serious again when he started sliding toward Ryan. Ryan talked to the driver of the car that almost slid into him. They were both pretty shaken up. It was too dangerous for Ryan to go back and check on the other drivers, so he never heard what happened to the first car. However, he does know that many other cars crashed into the guardrail that had flown into the road. He says it was a crazy accident. This clip comes to us from Tacoma, Washington, where the submitter had been driving his Model 3 behind a green Dodge Durango. Suddenly, the Durango crossed the double yellow lines, slamming into a commercial truck. The submitter was the first person on scene and says it was a horrible accident. Both front doors were pinned shut because the impact caused the rear doors to jam the front doors and hold them shut. The submitter tried everything he could to get the doors open, but ultimately the responding firefighters had to use the jaws of life to open the doors so the occupants could get out. There were two people in the Durango and both were taken away in an ambulance. Ezekiel was driving his Model 3 on the freeway outside of Huntington, Oregon. He was driving at around 80 miles per hour when he noticed a police car speeding up behind him. Ezekiel moved over to let the officer fly past him. In the distance, he noticed a car coming straight toward them. The officer lined up to take him down. It was a direct hit and the car who was speeding the wrong direction down the freeway was neutralized. The officer jumped out of his vehicle, broke the window of the other car, and had the guy in cuffs in a matter of seconds. The official story says that around 2 p.m., emergency dispatchers received a report of a wrong-way driver on the freeway near milepost 342. The reporting party described a silver sedan driving westbound in the eastbound lanes. Oregon State Police Troopers responded to the area in an attempt to locate the driver. Less than five minutes later, the senior trooper spotted the vehicle just before colliding with it. The wrong-way driver sustained minor injuries and was taken to a hospital for treatment and evaluation. He was then booked into the Baker County Jail on charges of second-degree attempted assault, reckless driving, and reckless endangerment. Imagine putting yourself in this kind of danger to stop an individual from hurting others. Wham bam, that trooper is a hero, man. This Model 3 owner was stopped at a red light in Kennesaw, Georgia when a Dodge Charger attempted to make a U-turn. In the process, he hit a white Toyota. Instead of hitting the brakes to stop, the driver of the Dodge accidentally pressed the gas pedal and continued driving, striking the Tesla on the driver's side. 
Police were contacted and the Tesla cam footage was used to prove that the driver of the Dodge Charger was at fault. Unfortunately, Tesla doesn't have any body shops in this part of the United States authorized to repair this level of damage. Even though there is a Tesla repair center right up the street from where the submitter lives, they had to go through a third party body repair shop. The submitter says they're a little concerned about the body shop's ability to diagnose whether or not the battery is damaged. While at work, Jesse got a notification on his phone that the alarm on his Model 3 had been activated. He rushed out of the meeting he was attending, but when he finally got to the garage, he found his car all smashed up, along with two witnesses who had seen the whole thing. Let's take a look at the sentry mode footage. A guy in a Mustang was stunt driving in the parking lot when he lost control, hitting the rear bumper of the Tesla. That's when the first witness passed by the scene with a dash cam running, capturing a view of the need for speed guy as he got out to check the damage to his Mustang. Sentry mode also caught this at an even better angle. Both his license plate and face were visible from the left repeater camera. After checking the damage to his own car, he got back in and took off. That's when the second witness caught him leaving the scene and recorded this video using his phone. A hit and run report was filed and, due to the sentry mode footage of his face and license plates, he was found by the police and charged for both the accident and for fleeing the scene. Barry was driving his Model 3 in Savannah, Georgia. He just exited I-95 and was slowing down for the traffic light up ahead. After stopping behind a Toyota RAV4, Barry suddenly felt a large impact. When he looked to his right, he saw the tires of a Honda crawling up the side of his Tesla. If we take a look at the right repeater camera, we can see the same bizarre sight that Barry saw. No airbags were deployed in the Tesla, but the car did go into accident mode. Barry got out and talked with the driver of the Honda. She was pretty rattled, but everyone involved was okay. They proceeded to inspect his car, and he mentioned to her that this was going to be a very expensive repair bill. He sent the Tesla cam videos to the police and his insurance company. The latter was quick to determine that the Tesla was a total loss. The cost to repair the damages was greater than the price of a new Model 3, so they cut Barry a check for 52,000 US dollars. Vince was driving his Model 3 in Kirkwood, Missouri. Rain was pouring down and water was building up on the road. Watch what happened when he came to a slight turn in the freeway. The Mercedes-Benz C-Class that was passing him on the right hydroplaned, losing traction and spinning out right in front of him. Vince hit the brakes just in time. The Mercedes crashed into the barrier in front of Vince and parts went flying everywhere. If we play back the video in slow motion, we can see that, surprisingly, the Mercedes airbags didn't deploy. Vince stopped to check on the driver of the Mercedes, who was fortunate to be unharmed. Vince's wife stayed in their Model 3 and called 911 while he made his way up the road to warn other drivers, since visibility was poor and the road conditions were unsafe. Ben had valet parked his Tesla Model 3 Performance in a parking garage, and when he went to collect it, this happened. Here, we see the valet driver picking up the car to deliver it to Ben, who was waiting outside of the rather narrow garage. Unfortunately, it looks like the valet driver ignored that sign. As the valet driver made his way down the garage ramps, we can clearly see that he's done this before, and his pace is pretty fast. All of a sudden, this happened. Ben, who was still waiting outside, almost couldn't believe his eyes as a car almost went flying through the wall on the second level of the garage. He feared that his Tesla had been involved in the crash, so he ran to check on the driver and his car. 
The valet driver was stumbling out of the Tesla, claiming that the car had driven itself. He said that autopilot had taken over and crashed the Tesla into the other cars. Ben didn't believe it for a moment, and he quickly jumped into his Tesla and watched the Tesla cam video. The footage itself didn't prove Autopilot's innocence, but Ben knew that the valet driver's story wasn't true. Here's where his battle with the parking garage and insurance companies began. The parking garage management claimed innocence with an unintended acceleration excuse. From that moment on, Ben decided to fight it all the way, documenting everything to make sure there was no way possible for his insurance company to lose the case. Andy was driving his Model X with Autopilot engaged on a highway in North Carolina when he was passed by a Volkswagen Golf. Behind it was a souped-up Scion TC. The Scion somehow lost control, resulting in what happened next. This was an accident Autopilot couldn't avoid, but it acted in a way that made Andy thank Autopilot for potentially saving both his life and the life of the Scion driver. Let's see why. When the Scion came out in front of the Tesla, Autopilot engaged the automatic emergency braking just enough so that the Tesla wouldn't T-bone the Scion at highway speed. Instead, the Scion flew past him into the guardrail and bounced back into the back of the Model X. This resulted in a pit maneuver, pushing the Tesla into the guardrail as well. At least it stayed upright. Tesla claimed that they couldn't even get the Model X to roll over during their internal crash testing. This clip goes to show that these cars are basically anchored to the ground. When the dust had settled, both Andy and the other driver walked away from the wreck. First responders were on scene within minutes. From these pictures, we can see that there isn't much left of either car. The Tesla lost both its bumper covers and sustained massive damage to its frame and bodywork. Check out this awesome picture where we can see the North Carolina State Troopers sitting in the Model X and reviewing the Tesla cam footage right on the Tesla's screen. We're betting that video was pretty handy for the accident investigation. Wham! Bam! Tesla cam! I hope you're satisfied.